Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Veronica. For today's video, we have a first sniffs video for Lark Supply. But before we get into it, make sure you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're aware of all future videos. Okay guys, so we have a bunch of new scents here. So there's a few that I reordered that are absolutely amazing. And these, were they all? No, two of them were from the last video I did for Lark, which had all, um... New scents from the advent calendar and a few of them I fell in love with. Uh, one specifically was the one that I helped name, which was called Cola Noir and Vanilla Pepper. And this one, I kid you not, is it's amazing. So yeah, I'm not going to open these ones actually just because I've already smelled them before. And uh, it's just because it's an oil. I'd rather just keep it closed um, until I have to use it. And then the next one I got was Persimmon and Peach. And this is actually a dupe for Volu Spa's Sejo Persimmon. I think that's what it's called. Um, and this one's amazing. It is, it's a powerhouse when it comes to wax melts. I freaking love this one and I love anything peach. I don't think this is persimmon do persimmon dominant um, and I don't know that people would really know what it's going to smell like for persimmon. For me, I get mostly peach from this set and I freaking love it. Um, this one's definitely, all of these are going to be in my collection. So, And then the one that caught me by surprise was Madagascar Vanilla and Coconut Husk and this is a, a dupe for um madagascar's vanilla from nest i kid you not it's like 99 percent the same thing it's so so good i love this one it's just such a pretty vanilla scent obsessed with it okay and now i have all new yeah hold on a second i want to smell the ones that are older scents but new to me scents hold on a second that one's new. Oh, these three. Okay. So I have three here that I decided to get um, that she's already had for a while. I'm obsessed with Lark oils. Just saying. I am so happy to have found her. I'm so happy she's a Canadian company. That's my thing because I'm not really fond of too many Canadian companies. And she's just my go-to. And I just refuse to try anybody else right now. Also, before I start smelling, um, I... I feel like this video looks a little bit extra dark because it's dark outside okay i'm like i've been trying to find the right day to film and then when it was the right day to film i wasn't feeling well and now i've just been stuck with dark weather and it's just yeah it's not really a vibe but you know what we're gonna go with the flow and i need to smell these i've been done i got when did i get these i got these on friday okay today is what wednesday today's wednesday i've waited that long to smell oils that's insane I have some patience, y'all. Anyways, uh, first set we have here is Hieroglyphs. And this is inspired by Santal 33 from Lolabo. The reason I got this was because of my coworker Halima. She was wearing um, also a dupe for the perfume. And it smells amazing. And I really, really hope I love it in this set um, or in the oil. So this has notes of sandalwood, black cardamom, amber, iris, violet, musk, and vanilla. So let's see if I like it as much as I liked it when she was wearing it. Oh, it smells exactly the same. That's so beautiful. And I can see how this is also um, their room spray. Because I think they have two versions. I just don't remember the, ver the the name of the other one. You get the sandalwood. You get the black cardamom. You get the amber. But you get that mus musk and vanilla. And it just like, it tones it down. So it's not so heavy on like, it being like a perfume type of scent. Which I think is why it can get away with like, being like a room spray as well. Oh, that is so pretty. I really like this one. I'm actually going to bring this to work and have her smell it. I think she will love this. Oh, that is good. That's really pretty. I really, really like this one. Next up, we have Shea and Rice Flower. And this one has notes of Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, Coconut, Rice Flower, Musk, and Balsamic. 
The scent description for this one is softly scented rice flowers combined with soothing shea of butter, coconut, and exotic musk. So this one I got because um, I was reading some of the reviews and even just looking at the scent notes, it just looked really soft and pretty. Uh, one girl said it she uses it for her spa line. So let's see. I hope I like this. It just it sounds like a really, really pretty scent. And I definitely need more spa-like scents, that's for sure. Okay, these are tight again. Oh my goodness. I always... It's either I can open them easily or I can't open them easily. Okay. Oh, that's very, very gorgeous. I can tell this is a lighter type of scent, but I really, really like this. I definitely pick up on the shea and the vanilla. I definitely pick up on the lily of the valley, but it's not too heavy. It's very, very light. I get the coconut. The main note I'm getting from this is the rice flour, though. It's definitely a feminine spa type of scent. And I feel like the rice flour, oh my god, this is so gorgeous. I'm loving this one. I think this would be perfect for like a bedroom set. This, this would be a bedroom set. This would also be a really gorgeous room spray though. If you guys don't know, I added room sprays onto my website and I'm loving them and that's why I'm now seeing which may work for room sprays as well but i really like this one even as a wax melt this would be really pretty in the bedroom next up we have americana and this one has notes of honey vanilla citrus strawberry sage coumarin lavender and wood and this one is basically supposed to be a sweet fruity type of scent um like having a milkshake at a diner in the 1950s that's the description um it is also supposed to be a dupe for lush's american dream which i don't know i think it's called american dream american something i think it's american dream um it's supposed to be a dupe for it but i actually don't know what that smells like maybe if i smell this i might remember smelling it in lush but lush always has so many different scents happening so Okay, you definitely get, it's definitely a lush type of scent. It's very pretty. It's like you're getting like that soft, dreamy lavender, but you also get the notes of like the strawberry and vanilla. It's very pretty, actually. It's very different from like what I would normally go for. You get the woodsiness as well. It's really nice. I feel like the, the fruity notes would probably stand out a little bit more in like a wax melt. So I would have to test this one out and see. All right, we're going to get into the new scents she just released. And we're going to start off with this one because it looks like it's going to be plain, simple, um, and straightforward. So we have aloe and cool cucumber. And this one has notes of cucumber, citrus, galbanum, geranium, aloe vera, and clean musk. So I want to see if this would smell anything like Scentsy's version, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be more of like an upscale type of aloe and cucumber scent. But we'll see. So I know in the Facebook group, one of the members had said that um, they purchased this and it, to them it reminded them of something from the 90s, some kind of like perfume from the 90s. Um, and Jesse also did another one called, I think, Hawaiian Ginger, and that was supposed to be a dupe for Calgon's, um, Hawaiian, is it called Hawaiian Ginger? Well, one of their scents, or Hawaiian Hibiscus, I can't remember. Um, and it's, it's definitely, like, a 90s type of scent, so I didn't grab that one because I knew I wasn't going to like it. Just because I'm not really fond of, like, ginger-heavy scents unless it's, like, a gingerbread type of scent. Finally got it open. I think I'm going to struggle to open all of these. I think I need to open them before I start talking on camera because then it just takes forever to open. Okay. Oh, man. 
Okay, so this to me smells way, way better than the aloe cucumber that Scentsy has. That is the only one I can think of right now. I get the aloe. I get this beautiful sweetness in the in this scent. Oh, here. Look at the... Uh, see, this is why sometimes looking at the description is good, too. A fresh, cool, and relaxing part of the 1990s beauty scene. Cucumber peel-off mask. Duh. Um, so, obviously, it's going to give me those 90s vibes. I don't... What is it that's making this smell sweet? Is it the cute? No, the cucumber? It could be. I'm smelling, the main note I get from this is the cucumber. I smell the cucumber, but it's like a beautiful, sweet, sweet cucumber. Oh, this, this is stunning. I need more. It's weird because like, it almost smells candy-like, but it's not. But then it also kind of gives me a little bit of like Garnier Fructis vibes, like, but not really. It's just like, it's a very sweet aloe water and cucumber. I feel like this might have to be a scent on its own. It's so gorgeous. I mean, this would definitely be fun for mixing though. That's absolutely for sure. I'm, yeah, this is my favorite right now. So some of the oils that I ordered from like this new collection she just released, they just sound so interesting and in my mind it, i'm like how are they supposed to smell like just the scent notes it's very new to me it's scent notes that i've never really smelled before and would have never thought to have put together um but a few of these are also dupes for other um companies scents so one of them that really intrigued me that everyone was talking about um is this one called salt and stone and this one, I'm just going to read the description for this one. Imagine sun-drenched citrus swirling around sun-warmed pebbles infused with salty ocean minerals of the crashing waves. So this has notes of bergamot, orange, lavender, seaweed, sea salt, calon, sandalwood, vetiver, and ambrette. And um, there is a company, I was just talking to my girlfriend yesterday, and she said that she bought a deodorant from Salt and Stone, and I believe that they're at Sephora I think they're at Sephora they have like a whole like body line collection and she doesn't even know what it smelled like but she bought it off of the hype the deodorant and then I looked at the comments again in the Facebook group and someone said please tell me it's the salt and stone from the deodorant so clearly there's a lot of hype around the scent and I really hope I love it just as much as everyone else is hyping up the line itself to be so let's let me put this down I'm a little nervous, guys. Salt and stone. Here we go. Oh, that's very refreshing. That's different. You get... The first thing that it hits me is the orange. Oh, that's so pretty. It definitely feels like a warm, sunny day. I do get these salty ocean vibes. Oh, that's so, so good. It's salt and stone. It's definitely very... Like, I'm not... It's not a tropical set by any means. It just... It definitely feels like you're walking down, like, a boardwalk and you're just getting, like, the notes of the salt water and then notes of, like, orange and... Oh, this is so pretty. I would say this is kind of like a fruity aquatic scent. I definitely need to try this out in um, in wax. Oh, that one's so pretty. That orange is just really hitting me in the face. I wouldn't say this is like my favorite scent, but it's very beautiful and I think this would be great for mixing. I think this would be a really good blender, like very, very good blender. Next up, we have Ghost of You, 
And I'm just going to read the description for this one. Close your eyes, breathe in. Skin warmed by sunlight jasmine drifts on silk sheets, orange blossom blooming under moonlit skies. The delicate mix of white musk and sheer florals become addictive. A familiar echo you chase forever etched in your senses. This one is a dupe, um, or it's inspired by Fleur's Missing Person, which is a very, very, very popular perfume. I haven't smelt it. What I've gotten out of this perfume though is that it works with your uh, body chemistry so it's gonna smell different on everybody so it's kind of like a skin like scent um, which I think is why ghost of you is like a very fitting name um, and also Fleur's name is missing person right so um, it works in that way so let me just look at the scent notes though even though there, there's quite a few in here yeah, I think the cyclamen apparently has something to do with that. Cyclamen, skin musk, neroli, white musk, sandalwood, woods. Okay, let's just smell this and let's just smell this and see what the hype is for it. I can I can see this. I can see how this can work it's so weird it's like it's very hard to explain but like i can understand just by smelling it how it can smell different on everybody it's like there's a scent but there isn't but there is a scent and i think that has to do with the cyclamen i think i'm not 100 percent sure this is pretty this is very pretty Wow, okay. This one I would need to do a little more testing because it's a little bit light smelling directly from the bottle. Yeah, I'm struggling to smell it a little bit, but I do get the hints of like how it works on, it works differently because nothing like stands out 100%. Like it's soft. Like if I were to say that I pick up on anything, it's probably like, the sandalwood this one's very very hard to like explain I, I it's oh man you have to smell it to understand next up we have the gummy brigade and I'm not even gonna look at the website because I I know this is supposed to smell like gummy bears that's what it is gummy bears so I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a bunch of different fruit notes in it that's so weird Actually, let me look at the set notes. I probably, I probably should just look. Sugar cane. Ah, so that's probably what it is. I think the sugar cane is what's adding that like extra bit of the sticky sweetness. Like when I smell it, I can picture my set, like my teeth just like biting into the gummy bears. That's good. How does she do that? That is weird. I love it. I love it. Um, so far, what did I say my favorite was? I don't even remember now. What did I say my favorite one is so far from this collection? I'm so tired. Oh, aloe and cucumber. The most basic one is still my favorite. I'd say this is like in second for me for now. Next up, we have one that I'm very excited for. I'm kind of hoping this one is my number one favorite just because it sounds amazing. God, okay, it has everything that I love. So we have Passion Fruit Cupcake. And this one had, well, the description is bursting with sun sunshine kiss passion fruit layered with the cozy comfort of vanilla cake and topped with creamy white chocolate ganache. Lemon, vanilla cupcakes, white chocolate, warm musk, and vanilla. Oh my God, please let me love this one. Oh my God. It just sounds like everything perfect for like, the summer it's like your bakery infused with your fruitiness i love me my bakery i'll never stop using bakery even for summer number one number freaking one i need like a whole pound of this that is amazing this is a great I don't have to blend this at all. Guys, I've been working on the new scents that I wanna introduce into my main line on my website, so my, like my signature scents. Um, 
they're not always going to be permanent. I've already discontinued quite a few of them because I'm like, I want to introduce new scents every single year. Like there has to be new scents, so I have to get rid of certain ones. Unless they do phenomenally well, they're going to remain on my website. Um, and I've already had a few chosen. This is like a spoiler alert. I know half the times a lot of my customers are not really watching the oil videos necessarily. Well, if you're watching spoiler alert, passion fruit cupcake is going to be, it's going to be one of the scents and I'm just, I'm leaving it as that. It's going to be just passion fruit cupcake. You get, I didn't even tell you guys, I got too excited. You get the white chocolate. You get the passion fruit. You get the cake notes. This is so mouthwatering. It's so freaking good. Actually, well, excuse my mouth, but it's so fucking good, okay? I had somebody tell me um, that I'm not being professional because I'm, I'm cussing in my videos. And you know what? I don't care. I'm going to cuss. If I like a scent that much, I will freaking cuss if I want to. That's just me. This is, oh my god, oh my god, this is so good. I want this in everything, in every freaking thing. All right, and last but not least, we have a scent that is inspired um, from Lo. It's spelled L-O-E-W-E. -E. I think that's how you say it. Um, but anyways, so this scent, I'm like, are people going to really want their house to smell like this? But I think this will be better as a blender. So the scent we have here is called Tomato Leaves. And I'm just going to, I'm going to read the description for this one, y'all. Sun-drenched vines bursting with life. Breathe in the vibrant verdant scent of plump tomatoes just before they burst into ripe fruit. Captures the essence of a sun-dappled garden. The notes. Tomato leaf, citrus, parsley, basil, geranium, buchu leaf, soft musk, and vetiver. I'm a little nervous for this one. I'm not gonna lie because I would have never purchased something like this, but everyone was, again, hyping this thing up. So... Let's see if it smells like tomato leaves. Oh my god. That's nuts. That is fucking nuts, okay? Wow. It feels like summer. It feels like I'm in the garden. This smells like when I would help my mom like pick tomatoes from the garden. When you touch those leaves, the vines, the le the oh my god, when you touch the leaves, when you're, you know, if you're touching any of the leaves, you get that scent on your hands, that garden fresh scent. Oh my god, did I just somehow make that scent go onto my hand because I'm thinking of it too much? Like, it's probably because I'm touching this and maybe there's some residue because my my hand has a little bit of the smell now. Wow, 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 wow. This has, this, I need to figure out how I'm going to get this to you guys. This is truly magnificence in a bottle. Pure, clean, fresh, green. This is a green set. Like, this is a green, green set. Yeah, it's like I get like some of that basil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The parsley, the basil, buchu leaf, the tomato leaf. It's that leaf. It's the rubbing of the freaking hands. It's just the touch. It's the smell of the garden. It's the touching of the leaves. It's the tomato. Like, I do get tomato. I thought I was just going to get the, like, most more of the leaves in it. I mean, it is called, well, it's. Yeah, tomato leaves. I, I'm getting the tomato leaves. Like, this is crazy. How what, how am I going to do this in a wax? I feel like this would be great on its own. It's so weird. It's like, I don't know, man. But what would I blend this with? I feel like this is a tricky one. I'm going to see if, like, if it would mess it up by blending it with something maybe fruity. If would it change the whole like idea behind this? No, I feel like this would be perfect on its own. It would have to be. But I'm so like, I want to do blends. I really want to try and do some blends with this. 
but this is probably going to be a little work in progress. Oh my god, this is so good, guys. Okay, so I think personally, if I'm gonna choose a favorite scent, okay, I love passion fruit cupcakes, okay? It's my number one, really, but I think I'm gonna have to give my number one to tomato leaves because I love it. And it's different. It's not my typical scent I would ever go for. So I think I'm going to have to put this in first. I'm going to put Passion Fruit Cupcake in second. And then I'm going to put Aloe Water Cucumber in third. Those would be my top three scents. Yeah, my top three. Ugh, let me get that. Where's that Aloe Water? I already lost it. There it is. Let me smell that Aloe Water and Cucumber again. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. This also kind of reminds me of Jolly Rancher now. Oh, it's so good. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so excited right now. I'm so freaking excited, y'all. Oh my God. My lineup is going to be crazy. Oh, these new scents. I'm so excited to start playing around with them. And there you guys have my sniff session for some new Lark stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to all my social media platforms, which I will link down below. And if you're interested in trying any of my wax melts, check out meltingmemories.ca, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.